well guys if you're looking to buy some cheap 8 ball pool coins then i want you guys to check out 8 ball store on facebook they are the best they got the best price and a fast delivery system so yeah guys go ahead and check them out i have put the link in the description below hello guys welcome back to part two of our journey to 100 million and before i tell you why i'm putting this screenshot in front of you guys there was something that i wanted to tell you guys in part one but i almost forgot so i'm telling you about this in part two so i recommend you guys to watch part one again and so guys so you guys can continue to continue with us in part two so the reason i'm showing you this screenshot right now guys this is a Facebook group is called 8 Ball Pool Free Coins Daily. As you can see, Abizar, my good friend, has posted that he's asking all of us to add your friends, add other people so they can add and distribute the coins. So, with, and also you can see my name and you can see my video, so you can also add me in Facebook from this page. So, just join this page, guys, and you guys can actually get an average of a thousand to 2000 coins every day depending on the traffic and depending on how many friends you have I have a record of getting 46,000 coins in just three days guys so yeah because of my level which was VIP level 5 I think yeah x5 so the reason I'm posting this uh, Facebook page uh, Facebook group so I want you guys to join this group and make new friends and you can get free coins also this is also one way of making your account strong so part two we are playing part two right now guys and the title for part two is gonna be building reserve means we are gonna be starting to build and as you can see right now there was a bit of an issue with the AZ screen recorder and so that's why I had to do some cropping and adjusting the angles to make sure that we have a good view of the video i hope the quality is going to be good i'm not sure but and as you can see guys we have right now 23,000 coins and all thanks to we started and we stopped in part one i think in 9,000 something but we but this account had few legendary cues and from the unboxing you get these spins and the scratch and that's what you can use and uh, these scratches to play and i'm just going to be showing you a few of these and I'm gonna be talking about what we're gonna do in part two guys so we are now going to be building our account stronger every day this is the process of every day guys this is the free way this is the easy way and this is the only way you guys can make coins without getting banned or getting any penalty from the mini clip so what I want to show you guys is that now we have 23,000 coins and I don't know if we're gonna get some big drops from these scratch and when hopefully we're gonna get some big uh, cash or coins from this one so we are gonna be starting with Tokyo guys last time we did Moscow and we did Barcelona tournament so today we are gonna be playing few games of Tokyo gameplay and few and I think one or two tournaments from the real so this way we are gonna be building our account and making sure that we don't lose all coins on one table this is the main thing guys this is what I'm trying to tell you guys in first part you guys learn how to do coins management which means you don't put all your coins on one table you only put few coins and you keep winning and keep keep increasing your account with more and more coins so let me do a few more and then we will be going to play some Tokyo games we are not getting any good luck in the scratch and win but since we have a lot of them we can easily make I think two or three thousand with this all right we're gonna do two more right now And yeah guys don't forget to join that 8 ball pool free coins group on Facebook you can also find me over there you can put post your uh, mini clip ID unique ID and people will add you and then you can send and receive free coins the reason I gave you the link of the group is not to beg other people for actually giving you coins but th there is a free way that each and every friend in your list can receive 
and gift coins without getting any trouble from miniclip so now we have 28,853 coins and we're not gonna be playing vegas right now guys we already have the moscow ring from part one now we are trying to play tokyo because okay we are gonna be checking which queue we have we still have the thor hammer queue so we are gonna be using the thor hammer queue for playing tokyo and i'm gonna be guiding you through few games of how i play it what i did how i did it and how you guys can do it so there are a few ways guys you can also get the gifts from your friends and you can use my strategy and definitely we will make it to 100 million guys so just use the back spin and I, somehow we're stuck and i'm gonna have to make sure well i try to open up the orange but now i'm gonna be using a back spin on this one Yeah, now we're using the back spin to open up the orange. So always, always think ahead of the shots. Make sure where you want the cue ball to be, which balls are stuck and how you can open them. It's all part of the skill that you can learn from doing practice. We're going to be using a back spin over here. And we opened up the black and I think we are stuck, but we're going to have to force an angle with a maximum power to actually get it and we were very lucky to win our first game so sometimes you get out of position guys that's the problem but don't worry with more and more practice you guys will get it it's not that difficult guys just make sure you understand the power the spin and the control of your cue so you can understand how much power is needed for a certain shot and this guy has about quite a lot of rings and he's playing a combo shot right now and he missed the easy combo shot well this was not an easy combo shot but somehow he missed it and he gave us a chance and looks like it's gonna be a little bit difficult since the black is only available in the middle pocket or the left side pocket and we're gonna have to play some sort of cannon onto the purple or the red. The reason I use the back spin to make sure we don't scratch and now we have to use a forward spin to somehow disturb that black and get an easy position and we actually disturbed both the purple and the red for an easy black in the top middle pocket. So that was a lucky shot from us guys and yeah guys you all you will also get denial the reason i chose tokyo over vegas because we only had 24,000 coins and we wanted to make sure that we build our account with good coin reserves if we played two games on 24,000 and we lost two vegas then we would have been in trouble because we would be down to 4,000 coins and all the hard work would be lost for nothing that is why we are only playing tokyo right now we want to build some coins even if we get denied, there's no problem. We had 24,000, we lost 2,500, we still have above 20,000, which is the safety reserve for us. And now that we have got a chance from a level 71, we're gonna make sure that we play good. And I think everything is open, guys. Black is easily available in both the top and bottom right pocket. And we just played a back spin to hold the cue ball for the top right black. And that was the easy, easy game, guys. Oh, well, we're gonna play one more guy, one more with the, again the level 73. He's doing the break, and unfortunately, he didn't pot anything. So now we have a lot of work to do. And the reason I use the forward spin immediately because we need to open up all those traffic. And that was a bit of a YOLO shot on my part, and we got lucky, guys looks like everything is open the green is available in the left pocket and we're gonna be playing a slow shot on the green with the back spin guys we want to make sure oh that was lucky we didn't part the black that was very very lucky all right we are perfect on the red and last is gonna be black so again a very very nice finish we didn't start clean but we are gonna be doing a clean finish to this game guys 
I hope you guys enjoyed this and right now I think we are going for all right so we have 10 games in Tokyo we have 35,000 and we have the WWE rings offer but we are not we are not interested in that so now we're gonna be playing a tournament as you can see we already have a Barcelona ring we're gonna put 3,000 on the line and we are hoping to win 18,000 coins and so our first opponent in Rio tournament is from Saudi Arabia he's level 53 he's doing the break and we are no actually we are doing the break guys and I think we have a nice chance to give him a clean denial and okay we managed to pot a stripe and a solid and the way I see it guys solids look easy from this angle and that was a bit of an extraordinary shot to open up the purple and pot the yellow at the same time because you can see guys now we're gonna have to do something I don't think the black is available in the top pocket so at some point we're gonna have to disturb and I think we have a nice angle with the back spin to open up the black and just like that guys you see good awareness of cue ball it's very very easy and just like that we got orange and we did play a back spin for the shot and that's it so our first game very very clean victory in Rio Carnival I think we're playing this tournament for the very first time and now the second opponent is level 25 and no disrespect but I don't think he stand the chance against us to, since it's our break and that's it the reason I'm playing this shot because I want to open up that red and blue and very nice tactical aim calculated and we opened up the blue and the red back to spin to hold for the red but we are gonna be using the part in the green first and again a slow shot and now we have to play a very very slow shot to make sure that we don't end up snookered and that's it black in the opposite pocket and we are on our way to final game all right so we have a final level 22 he defeated level 50 plus guy so and he's doing the break so I wish him nothing but good luck and he does have the Barcelona rings and I think he's also going for the Rio ring well so far he's playing good at some point he's gonna have to disturb the black because the black is not available in the left pocket and just when I said that he disturbed the black that's a very nice move he should use the back spin right now but he snookered himself on the yellow and gave us a very very nice chance and now it's a formality for us guys we just have to make sure we don't snooker ourselves behind or get any in trouble if we scratch we are done so slow shots good awareness of cue ball that's it slow shot on the green to disturb the black and I think I'm gonna be using the both blue and yellow in the same pocket for a good position on the last black and this is how guys this is how you can use this strategy to build up your account and this is through the title for this part two is gonna be coin reserve means you don't put all your coins on the table you keep some reserved and only put a few coins a few portion of your coins onto the table to actually win it also don't forget to watch free videos to get more and more coins and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I really did enjoy it I had a great time playing this and sorry about the delay guys I was a bit busy last few days so this is why I'm late on part 2 and I promise you guys part 3 is gonna be much bigger much stronger and much 
strategy wise perfect so thank you guys for watching 